Hi everyone, I'm Alex with part 2 on the making of this chair. If you don't know, on my first video I made this wood chair out of a recycled pallet with no power tools. If you want to check that out, I will link it for you right here. For this video I'll be finishing the chair with some dark wood stain and making these strap-on cushions that I sewed myself. Don't forget to check my other videos and subscribe for more content like this. So, forgot to finish that intro properly, but anyways, here's a sneak peek on how the cushions are constructed. First, there is velcro on the bottom to close after the foam is inserted. Then, we have inlaid straps that come out of the top front of the chair cushion and have a bottom closure in the back to keep the cushions attached to the chair. You could add buckles instead if you like. Now that you have an idea on how it works, let's start preparing the pieces. Here I'm making four of these cushions because I'm planning on making a twin chair, but later I'll show you just how much parts you need to make just one. Start by tracing the outline of the foam, top and bottom, as close as you can to the actual edge. Leave one inch seam allowance all around. If you have two pieces close to each other, that will mean two inches in between. To make the width part, I choose to make one long strip that goes along the two sides and the front, adding an extra two inch on the end to act as a stopper for the foam on the back. Remember to leave seam allowance for all the pieces. To make the closure, you'll need a strap that is just the size of the remaining width part and another that is half of it. Again, seam allowance. Cut around the drawn shapes respecting that one inch seam allowance. It does not have to be perfect, it's just for comfort at sewing. The last part you'll need to cut before we start attaching everything with pins is the straps. I made mine out of bow leather, using the same width of the foam as a stencil, and rounding the edges to contour the bottom once finished. I also added a decorative stitch all along the sides of the straps and made the bottom hole. Here are all the pieces that you'll need to make one cushion. First thing we are going to sew is the hemming of the strips. Start with the edges on the long strip, folding it twice to create a nice edge. Then continue with the short strips, not only on the sides but on one of the fronts, leaving one edge unfinished where you'll attach one of the faces. Now is a good time to add the velcro strips if you have decided to go with a sewing kind like I did. Decide where you want the straps to sit on the cushion and place them right sides together with pins on the edges and in the middle of the face so that they won't get in your way while you sew. Then, Attach the top velcro part on the bottom, also right sides together with pins, making sure the markings on both pieces match, and sew it with a straight stitch. Find the middle on the side that is opposite to the velcro one, and mark it with a pin. Then. Find the middle on the long strip and also mark it with a pin. Place both middle marks right sides together and start attaching from that center both pieces together. 
making sure the line you drew on both sides match. It is important that the lines match to ensure a tight fit. Making short cuts on the corners of the long strip will make it easier to fold, so that you can attach the rest of the strip to the side same way. Remember to leave that 2 inch at the end without sewing. Cut the corners again and attach the remaining 2 inch at the back part. This will act as a stopper for the foam not to peek out. Sew the smaller velcro piece right sides together to the second face piece before finding the middle to start pinning it to the larger piece that we have been working on. Starting always with the middle ensures the final result to be symmetrical and also that everything will fit how it should. Remember to make the cuts at the edges as needed to align the sides with the top. Sew the 2 inch at the end and proceed to cut the excess fabric. My fabric doesn't fray much, so I won't be finishing the edges in any special way, but feel free to add bias if needed. Carefully remove the pins that were holding the straps and flip the cover inside out. Stuff the foam inside and place it on the chair to sew the bottoms at height. And that's it! You made DIY cushions for your DIY chair. You can make them in different colors and textures and wash them as needed. If you made it this far into the video, I'd like to thank you for your support because I'm having a lot of fun recording these videos for YouTube I'm planning to continue working on stuff for this channel weekly Also, comment down below what kind of videos you would like to see me doing next I would love to hear feedback from you guys If you're curious on what I'll be making with these fabrics, hop on to the next video to find out And I'll see you guys next time!